Yeah, this one is from Isaac, and this one is a really good one. Um, hope you appreciate this. Thumbs up if you do, thumbs down if you don't. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, do all those cool things. This one I think is really cool. So Isaac sent me an image. I think this one is a fun one. Uh, looks like this. How would you model something up like this in Fusion 360? I would, you could do this in the model space. I would probably do a combination of both, but I think that this looks really fun as a sculpting exercise. So I said, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm actually gonna start out in, in our standing modeling pages here. So I'm gonna go up and um, create a sketch on the top face here, see the circle, and I'm gonna make this one like 500 millimeters, like this. I'm gonna draw a line vertical down, snap that in there, line vertical over there, and a line there. Um, now, let's do the symmetry. So point, point, line, D for there to there, I'm gonna make this 40. Now, here's the thing. What I'm doing right now, Isaac, is when I'm looking at this part, I should probably set this. I, I'm, there's a lot of the same thing in here, right? So if I break it down and only do from here over to here, I should be able to pattern the rest of them, right? So what I did was I said that 360, I counted these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, divided by 360 degrees, that's 40. So that's 40 degrees. So I'm just gonna concentrate, I'm just modeling up this, these three horns here, and then I'm gonna pan on the rest around. So I'm gonna go ahead here and create a pizza slice. I'm extruded down, doesn't care about the thickness. This is just a tool. I'm gonna get rid of this in the end. I'm not gonna use this in the end. Nothing to do with what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get into the sculpt environment. In the sculpt environment, I'm gonna use one of these predefined shapes. I'm gonna take a cylinder. I'm gonna do same size, 500, and draw that up there. And then I get a barrel. And that barrel, if you look at the bottom here, you will see that it looks, it's, it's same radius, right? Pretty much same radius if I looked at the, at the bottom here. It's same radius, right? Pretty much right there. Um, but I need, one of the things you will run into is I, I need more control points than one this barrel came with originally. Um, so I'm only concentrating on this where the pizza shape is right now. I'm gonna leave the rest because it would actually affect the shape in the sculpt environment. Um, and then I cut it off in the end. I'm also gonna use symmetry what means that if I place symmetry, what I do on one side will repeat on the other side. Click symmetry, click this face, click this face, and I get a, a green line down what gives me symmetry. Now I wanna insert another control point here. So now I'm gonna go to modify, insert edge, and I'm gonna double click on the edge. When I double click on it, it will select the whole, the whole way down. So double click and you will see again an edge right there. Now, if I go and look at the front view, I can kind of control where that edge goes. So I'm gonna make sure it goes close to my pizza shape and hit okay. And when I do that, I actually get one on the other side because when that symmetry turned on. But one of the things about Sculpt is it's trying to keep everything aligned uh, and, and um, continuously. So when you go down, you look at the bottom right now, you will see that it's not following the pizza shape. Because we inserted those edges, it's actually trying to keep uh, continually curved. So now we can, but we can edit that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, hit edit form. I'm gonna double click on this line again. I can actually control where that cursor is. So I'm gonna click on this little handle and place it right down there in the bottom, hit the green check mark. And now if I go in here, I can grab, I like to grab these and I can drag that down to about where I think that is, hit okay. So that brought that, if we look at the bottom again, I kind of locked that one down, but I see that these are still, I think I can do better. So I'm gonna move up, 
I'm going to right click edit form. I'm going to double click on this edge this time. Click that little set pivot. Set that pivot there. Hit the green check mark. And maybe it's easier if I go in here. Put it on an angle. Make sure I grab the right one. I can drag that closer down. And this is where, as I said before, when it comes to the sculpt space, the more you, this is where you're just kind of like playing around with it. Now it may be a little bit under here uh so you would go back and say oh i can do better right click edit form double click this face set pivot point come in set the pivot point and maybe i say ah, i want to get a little bit closer so you can sit and play with this all day long and that's how you make good shape but if we look at the bottom right now that is good enough for me now is actually where I'm going to start making the shape. Now you will see that if you look from the top down, you'll see the barrel is not really round anymore. Uh, but I'm fine with that because I'm going to, I'm only really looking for these rows right now. So now I'm going to right click, edit form, and you could just be tempted to click on this point here and grab on this one and you could drag this back. But you see how it's really just pulling at that point. And that's not really how the shape looks like. So I'm going to undo that. You could also select, instead of selecting the point, you could select the line and you could try the same thing. And that's maybe more what I want, except I still want that point. So I'm going to click back up on that. So you can, this is where you can play with, with sculpt, right? And you can get this shape exactly how, how you want. Maybe I select here. So like this pivot point to down to here. Kind of drag that back. Like whatever you whatever you kind of makes you feel good about. And this again, like I said, it's where we can play all the time. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna select this, not the face, I don't want the face. This line. And then now we could start dragging that outwards. And you will see again, because we get the symmetry on, it's happening on both ads. So I pulled that out a little bit. That maybe made me think that, okay, that means I want to bring this one back a little bit. And this is what sculpting does. You're literally just playing all the time. Okay. Um, I think I'm getting there. I could probably spend, somebody's going to tell me you should really spend some more time on this. Absolutely. I would if I was you. I'm going to hit okay to this. Okay. And... Um, and then there is actually in here, there is a thickening. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to thicken our, uh, our sculpt here. So like that, I'm going to thicken it back. I don't know how much I should thicken it. 10 millimeters, maybe try it. So now it is actually thickened right now. It's thick around here, a band. That's our band. I'm going to hit okay to snap out of here. So now we're back in the solid environment. Now what I can do is I could go over and say, I am going to split this body with the face of my pizza. Hit okay. Right click, split this side of the body with the face of my pizza. See that? Now, I actually don't care about, I don't really care about the pizza, but I don't care, this is the one I want. I don't care about these two. So we could right click on that and say remove, right click on that and say remove. And now I'm gonna just hide the pizza slice. Now, if we go in and we do a circular pattern and we select this, Select the axis, select this, and we wanted nine of them because we use the pizza slide. Whoop, right click, edit, full. Oh, I select the faces, sorry. We don't want faces, we want bodies. This body around there. Uh, because we use the pizza slice to cut this with, it means that now it will be perfect all the way around and it will fit. Now we ended up getting all these bodies. Uh, so now most of the times you want to end up, 
And you can see here, we probably want to, we want to do more to these, but what you could do at this point is you can go in and say, combine this body with this body, hit okay, right click, combine this body with this body, right click, combine this body with this body, and you could turn it all into one nice big solid. And then you could of course try to do more stuff with it. You could blow holes in it. Um, you could uh, do other, other kind of things in here. So that's, and right click. And now it is one body uh, in here. Now you could go in, I don't know if this is gonna work. You could go in and try to add some fillets uh, to these edges. Looks like it might take it. See that? So you could actually add some fillets. Oh, if you do too much, it's gonna cut through it. So I could select the inside too, maybe. Well, that was worth, now I'm gonna try that. Just do a fillet on this and on this. Can we do 20? So now you could start doing the, ah, something is happening out there with 20. It's definitely deforming it. 10 will work. Um, so now you could start doing other, um, other commands that you, that you normally, uh, normally were used to in here and, and add your fillets or drill holes or, or whatever, whatever you want. Um, not exactly what you're seeing here. Uh, Isaac, it actually looks like what I probably should do next. You could do some kind of a revolved um, cut all the way around. And again, because it's a because it's a solid, uh, you could actually do that. Right click. Uh, let's select a face here. Go ahead and look at that face. I'm going to use this slicing tool that I love so much uh, over here. And now I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whack this. Now I'm going to try. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a circle. This should probably not be a circle. This should probably be some other obscure shape. Uh, I'm gonna do a circle anyways. And uh, if I do a, a revolve of that shape around the center and make it a cut, you can see that that would, uh, that would work too. So it is a full solid uh, coming back and at any point, you can right click down here say edit and now you're right back in our sculpt environment again and we could be like yeah you know i thought that i wanted to move things around you can right click and you can you can do that but i thought this was a kind of a cool little uh cool little trick cool little shape or maybe you don't like that cut move that back <laughs> uh i hope this was useful isaac this is where we're gonna write uh, wrap, right wrap up this uh ask last live number nine a lot of questions, didn't have the answers to all of them. I challenge you to answer some of them if you have the answers down in the comments area. Thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't, that is okay. And until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.